Hi, my name is Chesit Tabawan. I'm from Code Mobile Company. Today, I would like to teach you how to use OKHTTP OK Client to connect the server. OKHTTP OK Client is a library allow you to connect the server in the HTTP protocol. It supports on both or HTTP um, GET and HTTP POST. It is care to make you understand how it works. I have created a workshop. In my workshop, um, I decided to use a syntax to create the background thread. Mm -hmm. in order to send my request to the server. It's important that uh, you have to remember when you need to access the internet or when you need to connect the server, you have to write your code that you send to the server under background thread. In this case, you will see that I call this line. After I call this line, it will form the background thread and it will be run under this method do in background. Okay. Um, not, uh, typically, when you need to connect the server by using OK, uh, by using OK HTTP client, and there will be three steps. First is to create um, your OK HTTP object. The second is to define the request that uh, will send to the server. And the last one is to transport the request and wait for the response from the server. In this case, after I get the response, I will convert the response into a string because um, in this case, my server will return the result in uh, the JSON if I pass the parameter in JSON. But if I change this to XML, my server will return in XML. I try to um, send it information to another UI thread. In this case, it's on port execute in order to update um, or, in, or in order to display uh, the result in the UI thread. In this case, I have created a tech view to prove that I can really connect I can really connect the server. Okay, now I will um, explain in uh, step by step. Um, first, in order to create the OKTP client object, you have to uh, ensure that you already install the library. Okay, by going to uh, build.gradle, okay, you have to make sure that you have uh, this line and then you have to click uh, sync button to load the library okay and you have to make sure that you um your android studio um can connect internet at that time and then um open your android manifest and don't forget to um ask this line uh, it's about the permission okay this allow you to connect the internet and this allow you to check the network state actually is in this case it require only this line but uh, for the best practice uh, you should uh, also this line too if you want to check the network state and then I will go back to the main activity uh, now you will see that I try to define the request message um, typically in this process there will be um, two uh, sub tasks first is to define the parameter that you need to send to your server if your request uh, is sent in um, HTTP port, um, you might have to uh, set your parameter. In this case, I set a single parameter uh, name, type, and where each value is JSON. And if you want to add more parameter, you can do something like this and type your more parameter. But in this case, I need already single. And then you have to complete your request by uh, push all information together. Uh, including URL, your URL, and um, your request body or your parameter and dot build, and then you have to call new call method to uh, send the request to your server. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I told you, uh, I will return the result to the UI thread and run. Okay, now I will run uh, to show you that's how it works. Uh, what I expect to see is um, JSON data that will return. In this case, I have implemented the take view uh, in this layout under uh, score view to make it um, scoreable. Mm -hmm. And you will see that uh, it will return in the JSON because I uh, define the parameter in JSON. Okay. And now I will change to XML because uh, my PHP will check if um, the type parameter is XML, it will return in XML. Okay, and now I will um, check again. 
Now you see it returned in XML. Uh, just now it JSON and now it returned in XML. And I hope this tutorial is will be useful um for for now uh, for developer who want to know how to use OKADB okay, and and thank you for watching this tutorial. Okay, goodbye.